The hike. Hi, I'm a 45 years old. My wife is 42 and we have two kids, 14 and 12. We first met in the mid-90s and got married in 2003. Our time together has been quite good. We enjoyed being together and doing lots of activities with our kids and relatives on both sides of our families. My wife and I rarely fought, but when we did, we were able to make up and settle things without any resentment. Things have changed over the last several months, and this is why I am here asking for feedback and advice. There has been a number of changes in my wife's behavior going back to about last September 2018. Here are the changes I have observed, distance from me except during bonding. She seems very distracted, spends more time on her iPhone messaging or texting, quickly puts her phone down when I come near her, spends a lot of time on Facebook, deletes browser history, spends more time grooming herself, bought a lot newer clothes, including Victoria's secret undies, rarely looks me in the eyes anymore, bonding has been more frequent and intense, lies about all sorts of mundane things. What has not changed, she still comes home at the same time after work, she still smiles at times, she does her usual things around the house that she's always done, likes to cook. I sense that something is very wrong and it's eating my guts. I have asked her several times if everything is okay, how is work and so forth. She keeps saying there is nothing wrong and it's all in my head. In fact, she becomes defensive without yelling at me. I'm convinced she's hiding something. Our cell bill shows very little activity on her phone as far as texts and calls go. It does not add up, she texts, messages a lot. I have not seen any messaging apps on her phone, so I'm not sure how she's messaging others. My wife has never given me any reason to doubt her love for me, but her behavior is quite alarming. I want to know the truth then move on from there. A little more to add. My wife always parks her car in front of her office before work and does not get back into her car until she picks our kids up before coming home with them. I know this because our car has a GPS in it and I can confirm this. I didn't start using the app for this GPS until I became suspicious. The mileage always checks out too. If she is leaving after parking before work, it's to an office nearby, or she might be jumping into someone else's car. She can say she's at work, but she could be taking time off and meeting with someone. As for her iPhone, I can get access to it. Our cell bill shows the date, time and cell number of texts as long as she's not texting another iPhone. Text convos she has with Android show all of the above information on our bill. It just blows me away that our bill can show she only had 45 texts for a whole month, yet she's a texting machine. It's either she's mostly texting other iPhones, or she's using an app or website and deleting her browser history. I cannot recall a specific incident that has led me to be suspicious of my wife. The lingerie she has bought has not been kept a secret from me. She was worn some of it to bed with me. She wears the lace undies to work these, she never did that before. She has not joined any new social groups or started a new gym membership. She has a girl's night out about every two to three months. She does not come home from work and shower right away. That said, she does not like me doing the laundry anymore. My wife works for a mortgage broker. She does not travel for work. Her schedule and activities outside of the house has not changed much. That said, there has been at least four occasions where she said she was at some location when in fact she was not. One time she said she was at her office, when her credit card said she was eating an early lunch four miles away from her office. While our bonding has been more frequent, there is not a lot of kissing. She talks a lot dirtier and enjoys giving oral more now. She seems completely consumed by something. When she gets caught in a lie, she quickly changes the subject. She spends hours on her phone surfing the net, yet there are only a few items in her browser history after she is done. I can now confirm she turns off mail, phone and text message notifications when she's not near her phone. Just yesterday, she left me and our daughter in a grocery store while she went to another store so she could hide and message someone. My daughter found her in the other store texting away. She told me this. My wife told our daughter not to say anything about this to me. Now she's using our daughter to keep secrets. What is this middle school? I thought it was an online fling until she started buying lots of new clothes and spending a lot of time in the morning making herself look great before she leaves for work. As far as I'm concerned, it does not matter if it's an emotional or physical affair. It's the fact that she's hiding something of this magnitude and she knows it's wrong. This is a complete betrayal, nothing more. If I can prove it, then I will need to take some time to figure out what is best for me and my kids. I plan to use a software to see the entire history of her phone. I will also look into a VAR in our car when she has it. I want to stop feeling like crap and get some answers. Obviously, I don't know all of the facts, but my gut says she's up to something. I have been feeling this way for months. The fact that these feelings have not gone away tells me a lot. It's very hard to pretend like nothing is wrong, but I certainly understand what you're saying. At times, I feel like talking with her about it. I'm trying my best to not show my hand. She just says don't do the laundry, I'll, she'll, do it. Let us just say I'm not just looking at her laundry. I'm paying close attention to what she says and does. I am going to purchase at least two voice-activated recorders. Place one in our large living room where my wife texts away and the other in her purse if possible. 
any recommendations on brands and model numbers, the software to monitor her phone, everything on her phone. I'm concerned this might backfire if something goes wrong, but I feel it's a chance I have to take at this point in time. A second software to recover the entire history of her phone to see how long this nonsense has been going on. I have spoken with two separate pies. I am meeting with one of them tomorrow to sign docs and hand over a retainer. I'm hoping to use the info from monitoring her phone to help the pie know of possible meeting times and places. If anything is revealed, I will then speak with divorce lawyers to protect me and my kids. In all honesty, I hate having to do all of this, but I understand all of this is necessary to bring about the truth. I want the truth. She's on salary and rarely brings a home lunch. Pretty soon I won't need to watch what she's wearing if I know exactly what she's planning on doing. This is where the phone monitoring comes into play. I know a VAR on the purse sounds crazy, but it would provide me with a lot of info. A VAR in my wife's car seems useless at this time. We have iPhones, but I can only see sent, receive text messages if my wife is having a convoy with a person who has an Android phone. If she is texting another iPhone it goes to data and it is not listed under text online or on the bills. Convos with Android show the date, time and cell number of texts. iPhone to iPhone convos, nothing is listed. It's almost as if a text convo never took place. Annoying. Here's an update. I met with a PI, signed a contract, and handed over a $1,000 retainer in cash. I'm heading over to Best Buy to purchase two VAR. Thank you, faithful man. One for wife's car, the other probably in our master bath. I found a nice place to hide it and she cannot reach it. Finally, I have not had slept with my wife in more than two days. I plan on using excuses not to have any more bonding with her. While I'm not showing any signs of any STD, that does not mean I'm free and clear of any. I need to go to a clinic and get tested. I will not do this with my primary care doctor. I thought some more last night. Actually, I did not sleep much last night. I'm going with the pie and will hold off on the VAR until I know how well it works. I'm going to test it in my car and in our master bathroom. I have not been able to get enough time to snatch my wife's phone to place spyware on it. I also want to use Mobileit on her iPhone but again I need more time. The windows available right now are less than 15 minutes. The PI asked me when my wife eats lunch. I could not give him an exact time because she eats lunch anywhere from noon to 2.30. I guess it depends on how busy she is, or it could be she's working around the schedule of the guy she's playing around with. I asked the PI to start surveilling her about a half hour before she starts work and again from 11.30 to 2.30. This will begin tomorrow. The PI told me to make note of everything she is wearing and other things she might be carrying with her. The PI said he will be communicating with during the surveillance. Update here. The PI did surveillance for about an hour this morning. He watched my wife park her car, then powder her nose, then text away. He says she texted for at least 10 minutes and there was no indication she made or received a call. She then went into her office. She was wearing the same outfit as she was when she left the house this morning. Same purse, too. Something of note is that the PI did not see her boss entering or leaving the office. We are wondering if he didn't go to work or if he is coming in later. The PI will go back again at 11.15 today to do more surveillance. Yesterday did not turn anything up that screams an affair. It turns out her boss was out of the office yesterday. My wife ate lunch with a lady she knows well who works in an adjacent office. The texting was still constant and at one point the PI says she appeared upset while walking back to her office and texting more. The PI is going to confirm if the boss returns to the office today. If he does, we are back on with the surveillance. The PI saw her texting a lot yesterday, even while she was eating with her lady friend. Of course, the lady could not see what she was texting. Maybe there's a way for the PI to get close enough to see who, what my wife is texting. I'm having trouble capturing audio loud enough to make out what is being said while testing the VAR. I'm trying my best to be patient about this whole crazy process. It's tough, really tough acting like nothing is wrong. I have decided to play dumb, it's just tough. I'm at a point where I just want to see what the PI unravels, if anything. I'm just nervous about taking any other action right now because I'm afraid I'll tip my wife off. I don't want to do that. I do have her pin. The problem with that idea is I rarely take conference calls after hours. I'm also good about charging my phone before it drains. She knows both of these things. There's only one male in her office and he's the boss. In all honesty, I did, do not really think it's him. I suspect it's a guy at another branch with her company, or an employee at a similar business nearby. I originally thought this was an online affair of sorts, but now with the way she buys new clothes and spends so much time grooming herself it must be someone who is nearby her. I have not seen any unusual apps on her phone, but maybe I'm not sure what I'm looking for. I'm not well versed in hiding or changing the appearance of apps. Your idea with far and traveling might happen if the PI don't turn up enough. She could be texting or emailing and it's work related. The difference now is she doesn't do that in front of me or our kids anymore. It's when we're not around or in another room. Facebook, I never knew she had an account until all of this stuff started to happen. If she is messaging friends, that's fine. No reason to be secretive about it. She is the youngest kid. 
She tells me she always had to sneak around and lie because she was so fearful of upsetting her parents and siblings. She is living the same way right now. It's almost like a defense mechanism. She was raised in a Christian household, though she does not consider herself one. She does not drink, smoke, or use drugs. She's a bit introverted. Today, I actually think she's cunning. We met in the mid-90s in a college class. At first there was no physical attraction towards each other. Friends for a period of time and eventually we fell in love. Oddly, it was our differences that made us interested in each other. We began to do everything together, the beach, hiking, concerts, comedy clubs, cooking, movies, carnivals, and bonding. We could talk about anything. We were very open with each. I'm not an expert one mental health, but I don't see any indicators which suggests my wife might has a personality disorder. Right now, she spends most of her free time at home by herself, while I'm with our kids watching movies, grilling. She uses her phone, but when one of us comes around she almost always quickly sets it face side down. We don't talk as much and we spend less time together. Sure, we all eat together, but it's very awkward. Update. Here is what I do know. My wife and kids left the house to grab lunch. I unplugged all TVs in our house. I started using the detector app around the house but I haven't turned up anything. The app does work, I do know that. Was able to get a few minutes to look over my wife's iPhone. No unusual apps or strange notifications. Very little in her browser history, though. She was online last night for quite some time. My best guess right now is that she's messaging using actual websites and not apps. Easy to delete the history. One other thing, she does not have that many apps. Instead, she has several shortcuts that look like apps on her phone. I'm really hoping the PI can reveal something soon. I'm tired of playing this game and I'm miserable. I am hoping once something is revealed I will feel some sense of relief. Update. I have the P I am doing surveillance today, but with some changes. Last night my wife told me her boss will be away for this entire work week. Or so she says. I thought about not doing the surveillance today because of this, but it still might be helpful. We don't know who the guy is, so with the boss gone, or supposedly, it might be interesting to see if anything happens. We might learn something. She's been working for him for about 10 years. Her FB account looks bare. Not many friends, no signs of private messaging going on. I did not see any messaging apps on her iPhone. I'm guessing she uses the web version of FB on her phone. Unless of course she has FB Messenger in, or other messaging apps hidden on her iPhone and she deletes, reinstalls them when it's convenient for her. Last night she said this week was going to be busy w, oh the boss in town. She's not happy with the workload that's going to be piled on her. She really did not seem upset about him being gone and missing him. As if she only cares about being overworked, nothing else. The PI told me he doesn't dab into hacking e-devices. In fact, he did tell me if it turns out there's an affair going on and it's just online, there's not much he can do. She's still a texting, messaging machine today. I had the PI surveil my wife about 45 minutes before she started work. Guess what? She was having breakfast with her same lady friend again. For the sake of this conversation, I will call her Mia. The PI told me he has a lady working with him. She was able to get close enough to hear some of their conversation. Apparently, Mia is having some serious marital problems. It sounds as if it has been going on for many months. Her husband thinks she's fooling around and he has told her he does not trust her. I know the husband, but not really well. Does he know something? I don't know. He never struck me as the jealous type. Just a mellow, easygoing guy. A hard worker, too. As for Mia, like her husband, I don't know her really well. Any contact I have had with her or her husband in the past involved some sort of gathering with my wife, her co-workers, and others in their line of business. Lending, realty, maybe title people, too. Christmas gatherings, award banquets, stuff like that. This could simply be my wife being a good friend and helping out her friend by talking and listening to her. I could certainly understand that. The fact that she never told me about this is strange, though. I checked our cell usage online and it showed a call from Mia's cell phone to my wife's about 30 minutes after she started work. A 37-minute call. They just had breakfast. I'm not sure what to make of this. My wife does not talk a lot on her cell. She texts, messages a lot. I'm going to have the pie surveil her again for a few hours later today to see if they meet up again for lunch. I'm in a state of disbelief, loneliness, and fear. I know something is going on and I have felt this way for months and months. The fact that these feelings have never gone away tells me I write. I'm not angry. I already know something bad is going to be revealed. I'm just hurting like hell. I have never felt this empty. At times I still want to see my wife, kiss her, hug her and tell her how much I love her. But when she's around me now, I'm miserable and I don't want to go near her. I'm beginning to look at my wife as a pathetic person inside and out. A fake woman without feelings or a conscious. I'm worried about our kids. I'm trying to keep things together and as normal as possible for them, but I feel like I'm failing them. I have tried to reach out to my wife several teams without being accusatory. Her replies are that nothing is wrong and that's all in my head as if all of changes I've seen right in front of my eyes are imaginary. She's proving each and every day that she's a very sneaky lady and a compulsive liar. My wife was dropped off in a different spot from where she was picked up. 
This spot has covered parking and it's a bit dark. The pies did see them kiss several times before my wife existed me as car. These kisses were not ones you would expect between even close friends. This was photographed. Another interesting observation was that my wife was not wearing her ring when she walked back to her office. At this point, it's quite clear they are involved in a relationship. I think they didn't embrace or kiss in previous encounters because there were a lot of people around. It would have been very easy for someone they know professionally to see them doing such. I'm shocked she's with a woman. She has never been one to say supportive things about gays or lesbians in the past. It's hard for me to know exactly how long this has been going on. The pies don't feel this is a new relationship. Based on how careful they plan things today, they have done this before. Or, they have been doing this for some time. I have a lot to sort through. This is going to be rough. It's been a tough 16 hours. My head and heart are a mess. I do feel some relief knowing I'm not crazy. I know what I have been seeing for several months has been real. I did not sleep much. So much crap spinning in my head. I will start with what I have not done so far. I did not confront my wife. I have not told me as husband. I have not contacted a therapist. I have not been tested for STDs. Last night my wife did not seem all that tired. She was acting the same way she has been for months. She tried kissing me and I let her, but I had zero interest. Again, she was privately messaging quite a bit last night. Of course, her ring was back on her finger. Then comes another clue, the wife of the boss will be in their office today to help out. WTH. Apparently, she does this from time to time. I didn't know this. Does this mean my wife is planning another date with Mia in the A, M, or P, M? Getting another sneaky suspicion, I quietly contact the pie again. While the pictures tell a lot, and I mean a lot, I need to be 100% sure. If these pictures were of a man and a woman, everyone would be saying cheaters. So, the surveillance started again at 7.30 a.m. my time and will go on today as long as needed. Then this morning, my wife did something strange. She took the same undies she wore yesterday out of the hamper and wore them to work, on her date, today. Why? Of course, she thinks I didn't notice this as I walked out of our bedroom right before she hit the shower. I want 100% proof this is indeed an affair and it's the only one. I feel the pie can prove this. Some of you questioned his credentials and experience. He has been doing it for 30 years and he's caught a lot of cheaters. I plan on finding out where Mia's husband is the next time my wife and her are together, which I expect to happen today. I can do this by using no caller ID to his office. If he answers, I'll hang up. Once I feel I have 100% proof, I will do the following. Confront my wife while using a VAR, tell Mia's husband. Seek out the best divorce attorney, get tested for STD and make sure our money does not disappear. As crappy as these last several months have been, I feel some relief. I was fully expecting something, just not another woman. It doesn't matter if it's another woman. My wife lied to me for months and months. She went to great lengths to hide this. At this time, I do not see us staying married. This is just too much to overcome. If it's a divorce, I want it done as quickly as possible. I'm not interested in embarrassing my wife or Mia. I want the best exist plan for me and my kids. I guess damage control is the name of the game. I'm on the verge of confronting my wife. I feel having irrefutable evidence is best. It's also best I have this before I tell another man our wives are together. It's quite simple, if what happened yesterday happens again today and so on, then I'll be convinced it's a full-fledged emotional and dirty affair. Update. A lot has happened in the last couple days. On Tuesday, Wednesday and yesterday both of them were away from work quite a bit. I already shared what happened on Tuesday. On Wednesday, it was similar to Tuesday, only they had almost a three-hour head start. Had an early lunch together, then it was off to Mia's house again for about three hours. Yesterday, both of them took the entire day off. They ate out for breakfast and had food delivered to Mia's house for lunch. The pics and video are quite damning. There is no doubt they are in a physical relationship. It seems their PDAS are frequent when they know they're in a safe place and won't be seen by people who know them. On Wednesday, I got confirmation that Mia's husband was off-island from to Tuesday morning to sometime Thursday evening. I called his office while Mia and my wife were together at their house on Wednesday afternoon. I fully expected him to answer and I was going to hang up on him. Instead, his voicemail said he would be out of the office from Tuesday to Thursday while on assignment on Maui. Just to make sure, I called the main line in his office where a secretary answered and told me he was on Maui and would not return to the office until today. Through all of this surveillance, there was no sign of the husband, kids, or his car. I decided on Wednesday after the calls to his office to see if his car was parked there, and it was. At this time there is no reason to suspect the husband has any knowledge or involvement with the affair my wife is having with Mia. Yesterday morning I was able to look through my wife's iPhone while she was still sleeping. Let's just say I hit the jackpot. All of this time I was looking in the wrong place. I went through her iMessage and saw an old and very lengthy convo with Mia. The constant texting began in late July and lasted to late October. These texts alone prove an affair was going on. I never thought about looking for texts with Mia, so I did not. I was thinking all along look for other messaging apps. And, I was thinking it's a guy, not a gal. 
Big mistake on my wife's part not to have at least erased the damn messages. Sloppy. I guess cheaters can get sloppy. The two of them are using another way to privately message since late October. I just don't which app, site, or service they're using. I can safely say my wife is having an affair, Mia, not anyone else. This is not to say she might not have had an affair with a man or other women in the past. I just cannot prove it. In some ways I don't want to know. I already have more than enough proof that my wife is a cheater. She's also a terrific liar. I love my wife, but our marriage is over. I cannot continue on in such an unhealthy marriage. It's toxic. I went to get tested for STDs yesterday. Should know all of the results next week. I have a consultation with an attorney this Monday. In the meantime, I was advised not to do anything until that consultation. So, I will not do the following yet. Confront my wife, tell the other hubby, move money around, or scare my kids with what's coming soon. I know what is going on and I hate it, but at least I know. The part that worries me the most going forward are my kids. I think my daughter knows what's coming, but my son doesn't. My daughter is closer to me, while my son is closer to my wife. I have to find a way to make things right for them. I love my kids so much and I know this is really going to hurt them. I can overcome the breakup with my wife at some point, but I cannot imagine losing time with my kids. I need them near me. I want to take my kids out to dinner tonight. Tomorrow I want to see if they want to go to the beach. Heck let each bring a friend or two with us. It's not like my wife is interested in coming with us. Kids with their dad having fun. What's better than that? Nothing has changed as far as my plans. I'm going to divorce my wife. I'm going to be seeing my third lawyer today. I was told by the other two lawyers that my wife will be served by a process server. I have not confronted my wife and I have not told me as hubby anything. Once I choose my lawyer, I will have her served, probably at her workplace. I will also move out and have a place big enough for my kids. I'm not looking for revenge. I want all of this to end as quickly and quietly as possible. My kids don't need more drama. I'm just completely drained. I don't want to fight with my soon-to-be ex-wife. If it means I lose the house, so be it. So long as I remain very close to me kids, that's all that really matters. Lastly, I want to confront my wife and spill the beans to me as hubby, but it looks like I will have to wait on that. I need to see what this third lawyer has to say about it. A lot has happened in the last two weeks. I'm finally starting to sleep better and I'm starting to eat a bit more. I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but I have lost a bit of weight throughout this prolonged nightmare. Okay, where to begin? I have retained a lawyer and I filed for divorce more than a week ago. My wife has not been served yet. For some reason it takes time here. I do expect it to happen in the next two days, though. She will be served at her office. I have not confronted her, not because she has not been served, but I do not see how it will help me in the long or short term. I did have a long lunch with Mia's husband two days ago. I shared everything I had on our wives. He was not shocked there was an affair, only that our wives have been together. I told him he could do whatever he wants with the pics and videos I gave him. It turns out he confronted his wife yesterday and all she did was lie more and piss him off. She said he was a low life for watching her and taking the pics, videos. I'm certain my wife is well aware of all of this, but she's incredibly good at hiding things. Mia still does not know that I hired the pie and simply passed all of the info to her hubby. Once my wife is served, I'm sure we'll have an unpleasant conversation. At that point I will let her know what I know and why I'm divorcing her without being confrontational. I'm not going to allow myself to get caught again in arguments where she lies, lies, lies. I'm finished with it. I want her to leave our house and have our kids stay with me. If things turn ugly, I can have my kids stay at my parents' house. They have been incredible supportive of me the last two weeks. I have to say the best advice I got from this forum was the following. Keep your mouth shut and your eyes open. Hire a PI. Hire a lawyer. All of these things helped me immensely. Months ago, I was angry, then I became horribly sad and lonely. Right now, I'm trying to accept what's happening and where things might be heading. I'm hoping for an uncontested divorce, but I'm not counting on it happening. I'm still preparing for the worst. I'll fight if I have to. An interesting thing happened last night. I missed a call from Mia's husband a little after 7.30 p.m. I know my wife saw the missed call and voicemail notification on my phone. The expression on her face changed dramatically. She looked terrified. Has not said much but did try to get me to go to sleep with her last night and I refused. I've been sleeping in my home office for about two weeks. We haven't had slept together in more than a month. The way she kissed me on the cheek before she left for work this morning was different. Then when she arrived at work, or so she says, she texted me and told me to have a nice day with a bunch of kissy emojis. She knows that I know everything and she does not know what to do with herself. This makes it easier for me. Once she is served, that's it. I don't need to say a thing. Of course, I still have this need at times to just let it all out. It's been brutal keeping it to myself. She just does not realize how sad and lonely I am. Sure we've been in the same house, but I'm alone. I keep telling myself to just accept it and move on, but it's so damn hard to do. I still find myself breaking down when I'm alone, or even just around my kids. My daughter knows what's coming, but my son doesn't. I still say to myself that I can handle this, I can get through this. But with kids, my emotions are at a whole different level. 
It's just so damn hard to keep it together when I'm around them. It's time to let go. Sent her the divorce paper and she knew it was coming. I don't want to engage her anymore. It's too much for me. My comment, do not sleep with her. In some states a resumption of marital bonding after learning of an affair is seen as evidence of forgiveness. I am not sure she knows that you know everything. But I'm certain she fears that you soon will. Get ready for snot nose crying and begging, and more lies. You are just beginning the process. You have not had time to mourn the death of your marriage and the loss of what you thought to be a faithful wife. Work through the grief process. You will feel better off in the end without all the deception and lies she has been feeding you.